Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Virgo friends and friends of Virgo. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, my Virgo friends, if you're new here, I do go over channel messages, oracle cards, and then we move into the tarot. If you guys are returning, it's good to see you again. Thank you for popping on. So, Virgo, Virgo, I'm looking at your energy here in meditation prior. There were a couple messages that came through. So, the first thing was um diffuse or diffuse it was more kind of diffuse like the light was diffuse as in it was diffused okay so um like a light being dappled through a tree or a fence or uh, a covering over the light a veil of some sort to help mitigate the full spectrum of something coming through this feels attached to your peace and calm, okay? There's there's a request to let something diffuse. So maybe there's some tension that needs to be kind of allowed to work itself out. Um, and I, I'm feeling more partial to that situation happening right now, especially with the other message coming through was black, the color black and the word black. Normally I would say black is like, protection, grounding, that sort of thing. Um, it can also symbolize like uh, high end uh, or elite. Okay. Uh, death is actually what came through for me this time. So death being a part of this, it feels like there's something that needs to be released so that you can feel this peace and calm again, something that's already over. Something's already dead that uh, you're still carrying around with you. Okay. And it may be like the diffuse portion, it may be that time is the factor in allowing this to kind of diffuse. Um, it could be a need for mindfulness being present. It could be a combination of both. So yes, let's go ahead and get into your Oracle, Oracle messages here. So spirit wanted to work with the blue angel Oracle. You guys got Michael descent. Whoop. <laughs> I throw it off the table. Michael descent. Uh, two, two, two on the timer here too, as well. So Michael Descent, this, the components that stood out to me here in this card were, you are not alone. This message of we are one, just a reminder that maybe whatever it is that you are going through or have gone through, you're not alone in that process and that human experience. There are other people who are going through that or have gone through that or will go through that in the future as well. Um, joyful empowerment and, um, I think I said that right. You're more than you know. You're more than you know, okay? This message of joyful empowerment that whatever it is that you are experiencing or have experienced, the way you're feeling right now, this reminder that that's not, that's not all of it, okay? Um, things will always change. Things will always change. So let's go ahead and move a little bit further into your Oracle messages here. Feeling called to pull a couple Urban Crow Oracle cards here for Virgo, please, spirit. What's going on for Virgo? Battle. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, there's that tension, right? Something that needs to be diffused. There may be an active disagreement right now. Debacle. Luck comes through here too. So having, having battle and luck come through here, I feel like this process or energy surrounding this battle feels very like five of swords, five of uh, wands kind of energy to me here. Whatever it is you may be participating in as far as a battle, this feels like a pissing match. It doesn't feel like something where anybody's really r winning to a degree that makes any sense or makes anybody happy. Um, this feels like a distraction and it's distracting you away from something much more yummy. <laughs> Something much better, this luck. Luck, I mean, you can believe in luck or not. The way I see luck is it is preparation that meets an opportunity. Fate, destiny, life, however you want to look at that, can open doors, but it still requires us to take courage to step through those doors. So I feel like this isn't just about like, you know, check under your chairs, everyone wins a million dollars. Um there, there could be a bit more of an increased luck, all right, you guys are experiencing right now. But if that's the case, I feel like it's coming by stepping away from whatever this battle motion is, okay? It does feel territorial. It doesn't have to necessarily be 
physically defending territory. It feels like there's there's something that is um, well off center. Your personal experience is not feeling very calm. Okay. I do feel like, okay, I feel like you're being asked to prepare yourself for this moment of luck. You've been preparing for this moment. Don't miss out on it by <laughs> throwing cheap shots at someone on the bus. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going forward here. Let's keep moving forward. Um, let's pull a wild unknown animal spirit card here for Virgo, please. What other messages do we have for Virgo? The crocodile. Oh, do you want to read this in the book here? So crocodile. Um, this is already tying into the concept here of like luck. Um, the crocodile is patient. They're waiting to strike. There are a lot of animals that are connected to that energy, but um, I do feel that there's a need to be present to be aware of what it is, maybe not exactly what you're waiting for, but you're waiting for an opportunity to pounce on something. And that's difficult to wait for something if you're in the middle of, you know, <laughs> a fight in the Home Depot parking lot, okay? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how that came through. Okay, so crocodile, resting, submerging, collecting energy, cooling off, hey, maybe, Maybe there is some sort of fight or disagreement that you are working, uh, cooling off from. I feel like my face is getting red too. I'm feeling it, Virgo. I'm feeling it. So the crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward. Now is not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. This doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing, and building energy. Fill up, fill up the vital reserves so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. So imbalance here, wise, patient, and a silent powerhouse. Out of balance, feel stuck, lashes out. To bring into balance, rest. Rest, my Virgo friend. So um, yeah, it's actually kind of seeming like there, there is an opportunity of some sort that's going to feel pretty lucky if you take it. Um, but part of luck, like I was saying, is being prepared. So let's come into presence. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to grab a mudra card here for you guys, and then we'll move into your tarot messages. So what mudra do we have here for Virgo at this time, please, spirit? And mudras are hand symbols or gestures that direct specific energy flow in our hands to produce the desired effect. What does Virgo need at this time? To be meditating on <laughs> the fish mudra interesting straight and true this way forward okay i, I feel like this feels like a pretty what i'm what i'm seeing is a um a broom like sweeping up something into a dustpan like that uh last little bit that you're trying to sweep up here this this feels like there's a major timeline shift or if you don't want to look at it as timelines just um your luck <laughs> something that you've been preparing for for some time is almost here, but it requires you to make the decision to, to jump into that as well. There's a need to detach from something that's already dead, okay? All right, fish mudra. So um, the Matsyam mudra vitalizes and strengthens the back, regulates the blood pressure, activates the circulation, and has a warming effect. Before you form the mudra, massage the back of each hand thoroughly with the other hand. First, massage the right hand, then the left. You can further fortify your back by sitting straight up without leaning, without leaning on the back of the chair whilst maintaining the mudra. But relax from time to time, first slumping a little, then straightening up again. This helps to stimulate the discs of your spine and loosens ligaments and muscles. Imagine yourself to be elated in love, striding with a spring in your step towards something you're looking forward to. I'm walking tall, head in the air, living life awake and alert. Yes, and this is five too, so change. I feel like this is the this is your passport here to jumping into wherever this luck is is leading us, okay? Awesome. Start meditating if you if you haven't already started, okay? All right, Virgo, let's get into your tarot messages here. Mm -hmm. 
So I haven't pulled this one out for a minute. This is the Lightseer's Tarot. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo at this time? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of the video. There's also a join button right next to the subscribe button. And if you are looking for personal readings, I do have those open and available. You can check that out on my website. Also a link in the description of the video. Okay. What's going on for Virgo? The... Um, Chariot is standing out to me there as I'm as I'm shuffling too. So I I do feel there is this positive forward movement that's coming, but it's not happening by accident. Okay, there's a um, positive forward movement that comes with the chariot, but it also comes with a cost. There's a fee to ride. Okay, the hangman here at the bottom. This is your hopes and dreams. So this is seeing something from a little bit different angle. I do feel like you guys have been working to, this feels like something that um, either you're aware of what this black stuff is, whatever the death is, or you're aware of its impact. Either way, I feel like you guys have been working towards identifying this so that you can move forward. We are in Mercury in retrograde right now, total hermit activity, right? Virgo loves to be the hermit, um, and it's not necessarily just to like be alone. That's nice sometimes, right? But it's also that journey of figuring things out inside. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are on the verge of like, I just can't quite put my finger on whatever this death is that needs to be released, but I feel like I'm close. I feel like you are too. Being a Virgo, rising Virgo moon. Um, whoop. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we're close. Nine of Swords just kind of flew out here. I feel like this is um, it's anxiety, fear, insomnia. I feel like it is a, a challenge right now to find courage. Okay, we're taking some courage. So, what's going on here for Virgo, please? Second deck. This is the Phantasma deck. What do we have for Virgo, please? This is a general message, so please keep that in mind, you guys. Twelve twenty-one on the timer. You're intelligent. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you, if they are for you, and leave them behind if they're not. Check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart. So feel free if you're feeling, feeling like you want to catch up on some readings. All right, Knight of Cups here. This is your fear aversion. So um, I feel I do feel like there is like a or anxiety, I feel like there's a little bit of an aversion to approaching something creatively right now. Um, whatever this death is, this black stuff is, whatever needs to be diffused, I feel like that is directly impacting maybe your ability to feel, feel the sunlight the right way. Interesting. Like what I'm getting is... Um, you know, when I was a kid, like the sun used to just feel so good on my skin and now it just burns or something like that. Um, being like love or um, or maybe literally the sun for some of you. But it feels like something's been shut off romantically, creatively. There's a fear surrounding that right now. So there could have been there could have been some damage uh, from a relationship. Or things are just feeling yucky i don't know let's keep going let's figure it out so let's get into your main message here you guys so general to start you have ten of wands here in reverse um <laughs> so <laughs> ten of wands is is a need to release something coming to the end of our journey being in reverse here i feel like you're so close you're so close to releasing something this is emphasizing the need even more to that there's something that needs to be let go of at the end of a journey that's already ended so you can start something else but there's a clinging to uh to whatever this is and it feels very fear related fear based kind of like the devil the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know or you may have even gotten yourself into this place just um, just from, interesting, lack of uh, connection. Lack of contact is, has slowly started to make you cling to things that have already passed out of fear that um, that's all you have or other things won't come through. 
Interesting. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands. <laughs> I, I wish I could set it up this way. Ace of Wands comes through here with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So Ace of Wands, after we finish at the Ten of Wands there, get rid of some things from the previous journey so that we can start a new one at the Ace of Wands here. This is a ton of creativity. It's a ton of um, excitement, movement forward, starting a new a new journey, a new process. This is the, um, I feel like this is this moment, this like flash of, of power, of energy. This is the moment that's, that brings you into this luck. This is the energy that the um, magician requires in order to manifest. So in order for you to tap into this, to gain this sort of energy, you have to be willing to let something go. I kind of want... What is it that Virgo needs to let go of here? It's going to be different for everyone, but not all of them. Okay. Um, so eight of wands, two of swords, mother of cups and the emperor. Uh, there's definitely control here over a decision. And this feels very much like a decision that's already happened, like a relationship ending, like I said. Um, you may be feeling like, or trying to still have control over that situation, either hoping it's coming back, or maybe you're even disillusioning yourself. There's just fear in moving through that grief process. Um, with the eight of wands and mother of cups here too, something has come to an end with the eight of wands. That energy has been spent. And mother of cups here, I'm very much getting this feeling of, uh, being protective over your emotions. It feels like just admitting that something was really shitty. Like maybe you didn't have the ability to make a decision. You were stuck between a rock and a hard place. And that took um, power away from you in that moment. There is a need to, to recognize that that's already transpired. Like to let, the, to let that energy naturally diffuse through time. The only way that it continues with, with such a strong frequency is by your participation in going back to that. Memories, wanting that to come forward, hoping it will happen again, etc. This, well, actually it's in the emperor here too. It's this like sun, the black hole sun. This is very like death and rebirth to me, that portal. You don't really have a decision to go through it or not, but you're trying to keep yourself from fully going through it. And I feel like it's because you don't know what's on the other end here, what this luck entails. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> yes. Okay, Virgo. Right here. Right here. Um, whatever this is, I think... Well, I'm just going to say, please, please let it go. Okay. Um, good stuff that you have coming forward. This is worth it to move forward. You have the sun. Yay. So the sun, uh, just like any of the energies, though, we do have to allow this energy to come into our life. We have to open the blinds to let the sun come through. The sun can shine, but we don't have to allow it to come through. So just make that decision to let go of whatever has happened in the past. I would even get to a place of... Just radically accepting it. Like, I feel like as a Gemini too, maybe, you know, as a Virgo, that Mercury energy just constantly going over and over and over something. Um, it's beating you up. It's eating you up. And it's making it, the summer is going by and you're not enjoying any of it because of that. Before you know it, winter will be here again, right? So joy, happiness, positivity, success, abundance with the sun. A new start. Like, he interesting. Healed DNA. Hmm? I don't want to be, like, egregious about that, but um, hmm, that could be a part of your luck situation here, too. Maybe something you've been dealing with health-wise is getting an additional boost of healing at this time. Oh, I love that. Okay. <laughs> the gin comes through here. <laughs> As your next one in your, uh, your good staff here. So uh, the devil, the devil, this is our shadow. I feel like this is you 
releasing yourself from where you've been feeling captive here with the gin. Um, it is an abuse of power as well. This feels like this energy correcting, being in the, the good stuff here. And next to the sun too, like we're not really obliterating the shadow, but it's like, it's providing so much light. It's diffusing. It's diffusing into every corner of the shadow. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> Yay. I love that you guys. So this is an opportunity really to let yourself out of the cage. The cage was already always open, but the djinn, the devil wants us to believe that it's not. Oh, keep look, oh, look over here, over here. <laughs> I don't want you to see the open door right behind you. Right. Um, awesome. I love this Virgo. So just, I would recommend being open to positivity and joy wherever that's coming from and in whatever dose right now, let it come on slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here, nine of swords. So this came out as I was shuffling the uh, Phantasma deck, Feeling like there was this need to take courage, or this was an opportunity to, to take courage, to dig deeper, to find where your strength is. This is anxiety, um, insomnia, fear. It can be mourning as well. I feel like being in the place where, where we don't see what's coming here, um, this could either be the nightmare continued because there are no changes that are being made, or you're changing something okay you're making the decision to do something differently so that you have a different experience because so whatever we aren't changing we're choosing not making a different choice is the same as making a choice to stay still okay that's kind of what you don't see here is there's a need to move there's a need to release whatever this is here the ten of wands there's a need to get moving okay it does feel like it's surrounding something that hurt your heart, okay? And I, I totally get that. And it's time to let the sun back in. Six of Swords, hey! <laughs> I was just talking about that. 2222 on the timer also. Yeah, get it, Virgo. I love this, you guys. I feel like this is a beautiful, beautiful energy, and I am really excited about this message personally and to give this to you guys as well. I know things have been tricky for, for a minute, but Six of Swords being what you don't see coming to. That transition, okay? <laughs> I was talking about that earlier. Um, from where something's shitty to more peace and calm. There is a need to like pay the toll to get on this boat though, or to take this dragon ride, the dragonfly ride. Um, and it's baggage. It's whatever's attached here to the Ten of Wands, something that needs to be released. And like I said, it's, I do feel like it's different for everybody. And at the same time, it, it feels like this process of just being stuck in a moment in the past, not allowing yourself to move forward because you didn't, you don't necessarily want something to be over. Maybe you're really close in this process of grief, getting to that point of acceptance, but that's the price that needs to be paid to take this transition is acceptance of something. Okay. Okay, so um, your challenge or obstacle at this time, Nine of Pentacles comes through here first. So there could be, um, I do feel like it, it is like a relationship that's ended for some of you, maybe a, a marriage, having two incomes brought into one is how I feel with this. Nine of Pentacles is like our personal abundance, finances, spiritual and, and uh, material. It's calm and collected thought also. <laughs> calm and collected thought. So the difficulty right now is allowing something to diffuse, which has been the main message here. Allowing yourself to get to that place of calm, collected thought, to take that transition, which means releasing whatever has happened in the past. This feels like a tough one. For some reason, you guys don't want to let go of this. <laughs> okay. So um, Hangman comes through as the next one here in your challenge. So um, this was in your hope. You are hoping to see something from a little bit different angle or to understand something a little bit better. Um, I think the challenging part about this is there may be a desire to see something a little bit differently, but I'm what I'm getting is... Um, like the intention, why do you want to see something differently? Is it for 
the sake of personal growth, personal enrichment? Is it to find a better argument, you know, to go back and um, argue with somebody a little bit better? You know what I mean? It is it for your personal growth or is it something that maybe you don't need to know? You know what I mean? Um, I also feel like a part of this difficulty is seeing everything. Not that we all are really able to see everything, but um, not having selective sight or hearing. It does feel like there is some truth. There's an opportunity here for something to be cleared up, not necessarily with somebody, but understanding a situation a little bit better. And it's feeling like it's difficult here to swallow the whole pill. There's also a bit of a break that's happening here right now, too. And I feel like you guys are ready to move forward. You're ready for this luck. Okay. I'm ready for this luck for you, too. Um, any other cards here? Spirit for Virgo. No. Okay. All right, Virgo. I'm going to move into the extended portion here. Um, I love you. I hope that this was helpful. Please, if this did resonate with you, consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Um, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it, you guys. I do have personal readings open, like I said, if you want to check that out in the extended. So we're going to go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. So if you want to join me there, links are in the description. I do have my PayPal and Cash App links in there as well. If you feel called to donate or tip, I truly appreciate that support as well. It is not mandatory, but it does go a long way. So Virgo, please take care of yourselves. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Be well.